Hi, this is Jonathan Gardner. We're covering section 4.1.1 of Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics, second edition. I'm going to move a little fast. This is a short video. Um, thumbs up and share if you appreciate my effort. And as always, you can put questions in a video response or the comments below. So let's get started. So the first part of chapter 4 deals with how electric fields influence um, non-conductors uh, or insulators, dielectrics is what they're called. So as you remember, conductors are a special form of matter where basically, you know, you have your, uh, well, as we know, there's atomic nuclei and then the, the, there's charges free to move around wherever they want to go. And the net result of this is the charges will move to uh, eliminate whatever electric field is inside the conductor. Remember, we're dealing with electrostatics. This is what happens when the charge has been sitting there for a long time, not uh, electrodynamics when the, the field is changing. So once the charges have all come to rest inside a conductor, they'll, they'll move wherever they want to to uh, cancel out the field um, and accumulate on the surface. The other kind of material is called insulators or in the book they call it dielectrics. And they behave quite differently. So they range from, you know, single atoms, which is like a point positive charge with the electron cloud surrounding it. <clears throat> it can even be like uh, atoms, like a CO2. I don't know if that's the right size or whatnot. Maybe, maybe the O's are bigger. I don't know. <laughs> you know, CO2 is uh, noteworthy because it has, it's, it's arranged in a linear fashion. And you also have your uh, Mickey Mouse uh, H2O water, the water molecule. Now the interesting thing is that some of these naturally have a dipole moment. H2O definitely has a, I wrote it in backwards because the negative side is the, it points down because the negative side is the, uh, the uh, hydrogen and then positive side is the oxygen. Um, most um, the atoms, they all have a zero dipole moment, just sitting around doing nothing. Um, but um, they can, if you put them in an electric field, they'll actually pull and stretch. And we'll talk about how that works and give an example. And also molecules, um, carbon dioxide, various different molecules will also, you know, in an electric field, they'll, they'll, they'll move around and become a dipole. So this first section deals with how these behave inside of an electric field. This, the big section after that deals with what kind of electric field these produce and the final section brings it all together into you know what happens when you have an actual dielectric inside of an electric field what's the steady state or the, the end result of all that so I hope you enjoy this and uh, take care bye